Alright guys, here we go. We can see the light at the ending of the tunnel, but this is SHOT SHOW DAY 3. I'm one of the marketing people here at Primary Arms. Uh, today we're focusing on some of the new products that are coming out this year. Most of them are going to be out by summertime, uh, including this right here, the first of them. This is our new 25 millimeter micro dot. So it's giving you that larger ocular lens, so you're going to be able to see more of the target and have a much better heads up sort of view. Uh, and it's still using that loved micro dot mount. So it's really lightweight, uh, really compact, but you are getting a larger window. And in addition to that, we updated the emitter, so we're gonna get really, really daytime bright. Uh, since we're in Houston, we're sort of used to it being really, really bright. But even for that, uh, 11 is too high for us. So I guess if you're in like a snow blind, or if you're in the desert, probably more for that. Uh, in addition, it has two night vision settings. So high light, low light night vision, and uh, an all new mounting system with 16 inch pounds of torque and it break away at over double that. So, no way that this is coming off. And we, uh, we've been test firing this, doing durability tests on a SCAR 17. We put thousands and thousands of rounds through it. Hasn't slowed down at all. It's dropped, it's hit concrete on weird angles and edges. Um, we hit it so hard a few times just to see how much we could do with it. We'd even bent in the housing, but the optic was still perfectly usable. You could still see the dot and see through the, the target. So uh, this thing's hard to stop, and it's really approachable at 169. So uh, really looking forward to that. That should be out uh, in March with just the 2 MOA dot. And then we have an ACSS option as well that will be coming in July. That's, I, like, I love the ACSS. <laughs> yeah, so if you're looking for something more of a Nia type of style, you know, like a horseshoe, uh, that'll be the one that you'll have. We're also highlighting a new prism scope, the GLX 2X Prism. The whole idea is that it's 11 ounces, super lightweight, huge eye box, so you can sort of treat it as a short mag close quarters optic, but it's going to give you a nice clear image and a little bit of magnification for additional position at a further distance. Uh, daylight bright, another really like advanced illu uh, illuminator so that we can get it uh, to full brightness, 12,000 hour battery life, and it has the auto live on off feature. So you set it down for three minutes, it's going to turn off, and then if you pick it up again, it'll be on and ready to go. So with that added, you're going to have a much longer battery life additionally. And that just takes mini ACOG mounts. So if you've got mini ACOG mounts or there's one that you like, you can use that. <laughs> Finally, last new new product is a 1 to 8 FFP in the SLX. Oh. Uh, you might have seen it technically launched in December last year, but it was so popular it sold out in like a week. Uh, so we're sort of celebrating it as a relaunch year when it comes in in April again. Uh, and we'll be able to get more of those out to y'all. Uh, it's pretty much exactly how it sounds. It's a 1 to 8 first focal plane optic with 17 ounce sort of weight and it's under $500, oh, wow. generally $479. So it's gonna give you a really clear eye box that at 1X is gonna be nice and fast, but if you need to take those further shots, you can pop up the magnification and get the full 8X power to uh, take some additional precision. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely. All right, so uh, let's end it with a website. Absolutely, you can find it at primaryarms.com.
Now we do have storage underneath here for all your pots and pans. So you can put your pots and pans in your freezer. And of course you can set everything you need to right here. You're clean, right? Yes. Ooh, Palmetto State Armory pistol with dot on it. Oh, is that an MP5? PSA Armory. Oh, Redwood is good. Dudes, check out the spiker. Okay, cool guys, here's a quick review. This is a company called Guard Dog, and they're making bulletproof backpacks. They come in a few different price ranges. They start off at 119 for a single panel Kevlar, and they come up to around $300, double panel. And some schools don't let you carry bags, so they've got these sleeves that kids can put in their binder. So again, the company name is Guard Dog Security, and this will be level 3A protection. What's up? Hanging out at the Archangel slash Promag booth and check out this chunkiness. What? Boom! And look how neat this 9 mil drum is. Fits nice and tight right against the receiver. Doesn't stick out too far from the bottom. That thing's gonna be killer. Better hope Dudes, you don't need it for real. check out the 9 mil versus the 308 icebox refrigerator. That must weigh like a thousand pounds when you get in and you'd be like, doo -doo -sh, doo -doo -sh, doo -doo -sh. sweet, sweet MTM watches. All right, we're now at the Buck booth. Nice little cozy fireplace here. Thought I'd start off by showing you guys some special edition knives that they make. Maybe a limited amount, about 200. But check out how beautiful these guys are. That's gotta be a skinny life. Look at the uh, convex in here. Turn it sideways so you guys can see that. Woo. That's gotta be a G10 handle. The one I wanted to show you was this guy. Look at that. Beautiful. And uh, some newer items they have fixed blade wise is they have a talent series here more of a machete type fixed blade uh, and they also have their new their new excuse me spear point version fixed blade which also comes in a tanto so that's the uh, spear point and this is the tanto version here uh, let me show you some folders now of course the best-selling buck knives are gonna be like the good old classic Ranger they come in different sizes. Here's the 55. Just to show you the size comparisons. There you go. And they've upgraded it. Some have some G10 handles down here at the ending and they actually have an auto opener. Uh, oh, right here. So you still have the release back here and it auto opens. You just press that button and it flings open. So that's the one with kind of like the uh, black handle. And now they got the G10 scales here. So they're updating a lot of their uh, old styles, making it look new. Buck knives. All right guys, we are at Victoria Knox, talking about Swiss Army knives. Let me get down right in here and show you some of the things that I was not aware of here. So they got some nail clippers here, which are nice. But if you are a fan and all of the classic series, which they come out Every year, 10 new designs. They now have mixed it in with a nail clipper. So you can get all the stuff in here, which is like your scissors, your tweezers, your toothpick, your knife, and have the nail clipper in there as well. So these are really nice. I'm probably gonna get one of these, maybe in the red. They also have continued making the uh, Chinese New Year edition, so it's Year of the Rat. 
that's in here too. And then of course, you have your limited series. They make these every year in different colors. Uh, it was red, then champagne the year, uh, last year, now it's blue. These look really nice. But the big thing I wanted to show you guys was the Outdoor Master Series. So now they have a bushcrafting knife and they have a neck knife. So these guys are my micarta handles, nice thick blade up top here. All right, it's got a nice sharp 90 degree spine, jimping on the spine here, nice scandy grind. This is the uh, Kydex it comes with. It's got a little fire steel on the side. Woo, that thing looks nice. All right, Swiss Army. Guys, check it out. Dragon Fry with the Emerson opener. What? That's cool. Guys, still at Spartaco, check out the bird with the Emerson opener and ultra lightweight scales. That's going to be a cost efficient knife. If you're looking for something, that's going to be it right there. Looking at Spyderco kitchen knives now. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it right at the bottom. Those lines. Got some lamination on there. Oof. Here's a good look at the handle. Yeah, a little bit of the blade profile there. Nice choil right here too. Beautiful. All right, we are in the CRKT booth, my favorite knife booth because the knives are actually out that you can handle. Right now we are looking at the Forge by War series, designed by veterans. They can decide what type of charity they want to give it to. But look at that. This is one of my favorite right here, that hatchet. I think this is a newer one in the very beginning here. This was made by, I think it's Green Beret. It's got the awesomest name. Go down the line here. Beautiful. Check out this miniature cleaver. Ooh, look at that. All right, so I know this looks like an ordinary hatchet, but when you pick this thing up, it's actually got an edge here, an edge there, an edge on the spike, all over around the sides. And the killer thing about this is, if you notice, there's three rings on here. And yeah, you might be saying those are lashing points that kind of lash it to a stick or whatever. That's actually a three ring binder holes in here. So if you have a binder, you can put it in there and uh, somebody gets stupid at a meeting, you let them know. All right, cool. Having a look at the Paris scale right here, designed by TJ Swartz. Apparently he's a really well-known knife maker. Now the interesting thing about this guy is, so in this knife right here, right in this lock area, is this guy right here. And that enables this knife to have a gap, this push button engagement so that when the blade closes, it doesn't cut any of the paracord that's wrapped around it. So that is an interesting outdoor knife where you can have your paracord and knife all in one item. That is awesome. Again, that's the para scale. Ooh, so shiny. Hey Tom, check it out. I found the perfect knife for you. It's called the Overland. Check it out, man. It's a folder. I'm gonna get some assistance from Joel here. So there it is. We got scales on one side. You flip it over the other side. Uh, it's all metal. You got stainless, stone wash, black stone wash, and you got these nice orange accents on both sides, and also in the liner on this side. What do they call this portion? Backspacer. Backspacer. Yeah, and then the steel on this one is? This one's a high carbon stainless steel blade. I think it's 1.416. Perfect. Look at that. You got jimping on the top of the spine here. Beautiful. That's for you, Tom. Again, Overland. Hi, I'm Jacob Nixon with uh, Benchmade, and uh, here are our well top three best uh, so far with uh, dealers. Um, this is the uh, the new bailout. We are using a 6061 uh, billet aluminum handles that are anodized green. We moved from 3V to M4 tool steel with a gray Cerakote on it. It's got a glass breaker on the bottom and a titanium lock stud. Um, this is this year's limited unlimited based on the mini crooked river. It's got a Swedish made Vinland pattern Damascus steel with brass thumb lug, pivot ring, and backspacers. 
The handles are made out of uh, marbled carbon fiber and rich light with uh, brass inlay. Gorgeous knife. And the uh, liners are uh, PVD coated, a uh, smoky gray. This here is a collaboration knife with uh, knife maker Jared Oser. It's a gentleman's knife as we market it. It's a uh, just beautiful, sleek flipper liner lock, layered G10 handles with stainless hardware and a shield inlay. Flipping action is very smooth. It's unassisted, however, it's smooth like it was and uh, comes with a little pouch here. Awesome, and then this entire case, we just picked three of the favorites, yeah. all new for 2020. Thanks, Brother Jacob. Yeah, no problem, happy to help. All right. If you ever wish you had a remote control thing with six wheels on it that have awesome tires that could fire, I don't know how big that is, like 20 bazillion millimeters out of a gigantic cannon. Well, this is what you want. Right now we are at the FN booth. They always got cool stuff. And this is no exception. Check that out. Jam! Dudes, here's a different view of it. All right, cool, we're at the car booth. Check out the Jim Carrey gun. Just gonna show you guys the length. I'm gonna see if I can lift it out of the rod there real quick. Woo! Let me remove that. And then so I can show you that. Oh, look at... That's like lifting weights. You guys wanna get in it? <laughs> Look at the cylinder on that thing, it's beautiful. Oh, can I get it back on there with one hand? Yeah. You can shoot elephants with it. At least. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Get one in your house. Well, guys, that's Chuck Norris at the Glock booth. Sweet. Slid into the Gerber booth and check out what I found. This is not a Bali Song butterfly knife, but it's pretty close. This is a super survival knife. So what happens is I can't do it with one hand, but this little lock flips open and the legs swing open to reveal that monster right there. So it's kind of like an all-around survival blade. You can kind of chop with it. You can slice with it. Uh, but that's called the double down. That's in the black bleh, black oxide. They got the black stone wash and they got the other kind of, I guess that's an FDE brown over there. But man, have a look at that. I'm going to put it down. Hopefully not kill myself. There you go. That is the double down. All right, people working in like warehouses, check out what they got for you. This little guy here can fit in a little change pocket in your jeans. You got a pry bar on one side. And on the other side, you got a, oh, utility blade. So hopefully your workplace will allow it, but that's pretty cool. Again, that's gonna be the uh, pry bird utility from Gerber. All right, cool guys, I snatched this up right here. This is called the Principal. This is kind of like a bushcrafting knife. It's not as big, but you got some rubber scales on here. Three lashing points if you wanna stick it onto a stick and go stab things. You got a nice 90 degree spine for striking it with a ferro rod. Scandy grind on the front, full tang all the way down. That's gonna be the principal. That's got Coyote Brown Rubber. All right, so they also have a customizable outdoor kit, right? There it is right there. It's called the Exo Mod. So this right here, all of that, you get that, that, and that. And it all is in here. Ooh, one, to ooh, and you get the pull saw. What? And all that's in there. Hey guys, Kane Tierney, Emerson Knives, 2020 Shot Show, Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here to show you guys the new new. Um, the Sheepdog has become our number one selling knife. So Mr. Emerson went back to the drawing board and came out with a new line of Sheepdogs we're calling the Mini Sheepdogs. They're going to be available on the Bowie blade or the Spearport blade. If you guys are not familiar, I'll show you real quick. 
They are flippers, manual open if you need, and then of course our wave. Available at emersonknives.com. And for those that know, the wave is something that hooks into your pocket. Yes, sir. When you draw it, yep. it flips open. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. All right, and then what was the website again? Emersonknives.com. Perfect. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming by. All right, standing right in the middle of all the madness and new products at the Magpul. All right, this is for Aaron, who asked me to film it. This is the new breakdown backpacker for the Ruger 9mm carbine. Oh, 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 look what's here, everybody. Shut you. There you go, Aaron. All right, just another angle for the 9mm backpack. The Ruger Magpul. 9 millimeter backpack. Magpul. All right, just a quick heads up for everybody out there. Magpul has changed up their packaging, so when you go into your store, if you see them online, this is what their new packaging looks like. Hey guys, what's going on? So this is our new fully enclosed uh, 509T. It's coming with a battery tray for a 1632. You will no longer have to pop off the uh, the optics to change the batteries come with larger plus and minus buttons um, it is going to have a proprietary mount you're just going to need a uh, optics ready slide and it will come with a mounting plate which you can mount the optic to fully enclosed really good for law enforcement and military uh, these are the redesign this is the redesigned 407 co but it's going to be the same footprint as the 507 c and 407 c the main upgrades on the version 2s for these are the side battery trays and larger buttons for when you have gloves on so you're still able to change the brightness settings. Um, those are the main updates if you already know the 507s. Uh, the biggest update on the 508 is they changed it to a flat top for durability. So it's the same RMR footprint, 1632 batteries now, 50,000 hour battery life. Uh, they updated the buttons on this as well. Uh, I think it's a really cool update. I like the flat top. And our newest one, along with that update, is the 507K. It's the new concealed carry optic. It's going to mount directly into the uh, 365XL, the SIG. Um, the 407K, the other one, is going to be a 6 MOA dot only for the concealed carries. Uh, it's pretty nice as well, same side battery tray, large buttons. Uh, I don't know if, you, if it's on or if you're able to see it. Uh, no, I can't Probably see not, it. yeah. No, but um, really cool. The concealed carry game is going to be blowing up over these in the next few upcoming months. Uh, everything should be available by quarter two. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in day four.